Hey guys, this is your host Reversion signing on to bring you coverage of a game that I found the other day called Serena. And here we go. This game sounds pretty. Sometimes, when I make a great effort, I can remember her scent, the sweetness of her breath, Serena. Oh, oh, it's Serena, okay. Oh, it's a point-click song, and it makes it nicer. The furniture came with the cabin. Considering how off the beaten path so this, this place is, is point click style adventure mind. mystery game. Found it off Steam. It's free to play. Her photo is right there. Maybe I could have another look. Thank you for reminding me. What? Serena? Why can't I see you more clearly? Why can't I even remember? This was taken on that crisp winter night at our mutual friend's hunting lodge. Good we came back bad. indoors Some laughing, giddy as teenagers. It was truly like an enchanted time, like we were in a magic circle where no sorrow or pain could touch us. Fancy you were drunken. You were gonna do the sexy times. My love. Aww. We don't have a lot of photos of ourselves as a couple, so this one is quite important. The guy who snapped this, our host that night, used an actual film camera. It was a different world back then. I, I know what this stuff is. I know what a film camera is. My love, we don't have a lot of photos okay. of ourselves as a couple, so nice. this one is quite important. It's locked. Okay, into the bedroom. It's a really well done one. She made this with her own hands. Wow. She was really good. I can tell. That's a decent one. This is what you did the sex of times. Ooh, nice one. It's a beautiful day. Though it's there's really a weird, unnatural like calm person. surrounding the area. Can I open the window? I've always loved the hazy afternoon shades of this place. Yes, but the window is fucking dirty. It's deep into summer, so there's a few hours. The sunlight is so bright here. There's a crack in this window from a tantrum she threw some time ago. It wasn't the only thing she threw. Not exactly perfect soundproofing. The sunlight can be confusing. The sunlight is so bright here. Fuck. In other circumstances, this, the clock is a trophy from our flea market adventures. Chalk this particular purchase up to every cabin needs one. And it is... Is time actually passing in the game? No, okay, time's not actually passing. It's 6.15. We used to keep a pitcher of water and a glass on this nightstand. But they're not here now. It is where we fought! Our refuge from the world. Yeah! A place of warmth and passion. Where you fucked! Sometimes we joked we needed to be so far out in the woods because that's how our sex life was. Far out. The furniture came with the cabin, but the bedclothes we brought with us. A place like this needs some luxury, but without her... I know it's sad! Okay, back over here. Over to here. What is this? Come, love with peace in your heart. Said Nimina, with the ice blue eyes. Ride with me, shed your mortal guise. Here is our mount, a snow white mare. Come, Oisin, to my gardens fair. In the land of the youth, play your act. Play your art. <laughs> Ours shall be the cycle of days, our sun and sky rainbow waves. Come, love, 
with peace in your heart. No, I read it. Fuck you. Blue eyes. Hmm. Blue eyes. Something draws me to this trunk. Open it. Use this trunk to store trinkets and papers, but it's too painful. I want to, but. Not yet. You son of a bitch. But you have to to advance the story, motherfucker. Okay, where am we going now? It's already at the table. Let's go over it in this corner. Can I leave? So many afternoons spent in this armchair. This window never got much attention. Then again, yeah, I can the tell view you isn't still nearly as spectacular. <laughs> Priorities, right? The fuck are you talking about? The view ain't spectacular. It's the same fucking dirty ass window. Oh, what do you have to say about this? You ain't got shit to say about it? Can I leave? No, I don't want to leave right now. There's still something for me in here. Oh, fuck you, dude. Sometimes she would brush her leg against mine under the table when we were eating. A curious. Sensual thrill. Hey, you fucked! I got it. And things that. So much wisdom and happiness in this bookcase. My life would have been much poorer. The smell of old books. I loved it when we took down one of my favorites and curled up on the bed to read together. Vanishing and Town. The wind howled outside on cold winter nights. Sharing meals with a good red wine was one of the great pleasures in our relationship, especially in the intimacy of this cabin. So you get drunk and fuck! I got it, you guys fucked a lot. I don't want to sit here again. Get your dumb ass up. I want to leave. Can I leave now? I better stay in, in case Serena comes back. Okay, so is this all the game is? I'm pretty sure I've clicked on everything. The table is worn but sturdy. Just like our relate our dining table. Quite modest. I could tell plenty of stories about this table. You guys fuck honest, on the I'm table! Surprised it's still in one piece. I don't have I'm no censorship. I don't give a fuck. The dining table was well worn even when we acquired the cabin. You could tell from its appearance that it had been the centerpiece of many happy occasions. You guys done been fucking everywhere. And many more to come. You kept fucking. Our dining table. Oh fuck you. Quite modest, but if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Sure. Let me go over here. I haven't gone over here yet. There are no monsters under the bed. I guess they're all in my head. I feel. Too restless to sleep right now. Okay, what the fuck do you want? I don't sleep well without Serena next to me. Both a blessing. She adored all things of nature. I remember her long walks out in the woods. Curiously, we never brought many plants inside the cabin. We were surrounded by so many outside. I guess we were saturated by them. At least I was. Maybe I should have let her bring some plants inside. You like them a lot. Yeah, maybe it wouldn't be here bothering a me. A plant is a plant. Beautiful to some. They say these things are alive. They are alive. If they are, it must be a horrible existence. They're alive, but they're not sentient. Find in their own silent, dark world. This guy's a fucking moron. I need to fix my hair. We have much more interesting things than this plant inside the cabin. Like my books. I've already checked your books. She's fairly religious, not me. I'm the cold, cold and cynical, cynical bastard. <laughs> but I don't remember that ever being a... Nope. She always thought our relationship was a blessing. Her faith came as a surprise to me. She was never prudish about sex, so I just didn't expect it. I guess people simply aren't that predictable. You get the fuck! No, I don't want to read right now. Especially not a Bible. Okay, that's nice. Can I, can I leave? Yeah, I can leave. Quite a large armoire for our admittedly Spartan knees. She uses most of it. Nothing in here. Why was that important? We all have our skeletons in the closet. I'm not sure why, but I don't feel like opening it. 
The sole thought of it drains what little energy I have left in me. Okay, anything over here? Said something about the, maybe I have to read this, have him read the whole thing. I don't know. It's based on an Irish folktale. Oh. Warrior poet O'Sheen goes to Tirnanog, a Celtic otherworld known as the land of youth and promise. Niav is of the fey folk, the fair ones, fairies. Weird mix of doggerel and artistry. The elemental imagery is evocative, but the language and structure are a bit quaint. Still, some lines jump out at you. This I've always been my head. to things I'm that are sure kind of both you. good and bad at the same time. Maybe because that's so like life. That's true, yin yang. My grandma introduced me to these old legends when I was just a kid, in between stories of what she could still remember of her childhood in the old the country. The old country. Back in my day. Weird mix of doggerel and artistry. The elemental imagery is evocative, oh, but the language and structure no are a bit quaint. Still, some lines jump out at you. I could tell plenty of stories about this table. To be honest, I'm surprised it's still in one piece. Because you're both fat and you had sex constantly on this fucking table. Up down here. Most of the books are mine, but all of hers are still here too. A lot of rarities and special editions here. The Great Underground Empire. I didn't lend out my Necronomicon, did I? No. Where's your Necronomicon? I want to read it. Most of the books are mine, but all of hers are still here, too. Where's your, Necro Where's your Necronomicon? Uh, Encyclopedia Frobosica. Frobosica? Where's your Necronomicon, bro? rarities, and I didn't lend out my Necronomicon, did I? No. Of course not. Okay, this is in The Art of Drowning. Too. Horton hears some unpleasant truths about himself. <laughs> oh, that's great. Pet, uh, Petacrutor, pugs, not drugs. <laughs> Zombie space dinosaurs from the deep ate my family. <laughs> These are actually pretty clever. Common sense and other lovely fairy tales. <laughs> Common sense is truly a rarity. That's the rarity he's talking about. Most of the books are mine, but all of hers are still here too. I should probably eat. I have more pressing things. The stove looks like, considering how basic and ancient the- Feeling peckish, dear? <laughs> what the fuck? The stove looks like, considering how basic what? and ancient the kitchen is, it's a wonder what we managed to do with it from time to time. Well, what? she mostly. What? Why did I just hear her voice? The dining table with our dining. I could dine. Our dining. I could dine. Our dining. I could dine. Okay, so that doesn't happen table. if I click on anything. Come sit with me. I want to talk and cuddle. What did we talk about? Damn this fallible memory of mine. The most comfortable spot in the cabin. Well, along with the bed, of course. You guys just fucked everywhere, didn't you? I can imagine her cuddling up to me even now. Putting her hand under my shirt. That's your job, dude. Be a man. Of course, we made love here, too. Told you! Hey, fuck it! There was no place in the cabin we didn't before things deteriorated. Everywhere I've looked, there's a chance it's covered in sexual fluids here. The most comfortable spot in the cabin. Yeah, I know, we well, get it. Along with the bed, of course. It's a fucking weird ass painting. Why would you want to keep that painting? But now I'm hearing more and more of Serena, so. I could tell. I could, I could tell no, plenty of stories okay. about this table. I guess it's. There's probably nothing out there that I want to see, I mean, anyway. Cooking? All the stuff I care about is inside. Well, except for Serena. I can make out nothing through this window. Yeah, exactly, but you still set the view as I say. There was a time long ago that all this disrepair felt oddly homey. Now it's just gross. All the windows are drafty, but like everything else, we just got used to it. I can make out nothing through this window. 
there was a time long okay. ago when all this disrepair was oddly homey. Uh. There's always a chance she might return. Fine. Look what I made, hun. In case we ever need to sweep something under the carpet. See the pattern of yellow squares? It's from this rug I remembered from my nursery. I must have been like three or four, but it always stuck with me. This is definitely an adventure. No trap door under there, just more creaky floor. I always resisted the temptation to sweep things under there when it was my turn to tidy up. The rug's all crooked again. Can you help me straighten it out? Why did you need to help do that? It's not like it's a giant rug. No trap door under there. Okay. More creaky. More so we know. The rug's all crooked again. Oh. Can you help me straighten it out? Okay, I need some on the bed to bed. There are no monsters. I feel uh, I don't sleep. There are no monsters under the bed. I'm trying to find more serene. Oh, I haven't the mirror yet. Pretty shambolic, isn't it? That's pretty the nice. organization of its contents isn't much better. It'd be a shame to say we're fashionistas. Yeah, I mean, your clothes are all very boring, dude. Really boring. Watch. Some money. Uh, huh? Dearest, how do I say any of this? I like your way with words, but if I don't write this, I don't know what I'll do. My life feels so unreal now, dreamlike, but wonderfully so. Let me try, even if clumsily. The hours I spent with you when we last met are precious to me. I was so lost such a short time ago. Everything seemed drained of color and feeling. I think we were meant to find each other, to bring meaning to our lives again, make sense of the confusion shrouding both of us. When we stepped into the crystal silence of the snowy woods, away from the chatter of the guests, all nature seemed expectant, as if holding its breath, witnessing a rare moment of something infinitely better than what life in the ordinary run of things has to offer. Do you remember how the light crust of the snow glittered in the reflected light of the country house? How the copse of trees in which we walked was haloed with a magical aura? I felt the chill of the night air, and you opened your coat and enfolded me in your arms, and we hugged tight, sharing the warmth, sharing the only thing any of us have to share on this earth when you think about it. And then you toppled us on the snow, you devil. We laughed and rolled around, my head already spinning from the wine and crisp pure night air and the stillness all around. We lay back and I guessed when I realized what I was seeing. The luminous starscape, like Space. a vast velvet cloth sprinkled with powdered sugar, like it can only be seen in the countryside. I had tears in my eyes when I turned to you and we kissed, and it felt like the only moment in all of time, or outside time, Aww. and ours was the only spark that could ignite the universe. You gave me these moments. You complete me in ways I never knew to dream of. Let me be the one who makes sense of the confusion whenever you feel lost again. We can make our own world against the rest of the world if need be. Together we can silence all the demons, heal all the wounds. I love you. Aww. In eternity yours, Serena. Is she dead? I still can't understand. Even the features of her face feel hazy and distant, like remnants of a broken dream. It's in here. They prevent my blood pressure from skyrocketing. Doctor's orders. And, and Serena's. Serena's. Yeah. I'm generally not fond of taking medication. I find it hard to believe ingesting a few chemicals will do me much good in the long run. Well, you ingest chemicals when you eat. Don't forget your pill, hun. I know you'd rather not, but you know it's for the best. Beta blockers. Beta I have high blood pressure. I'm only supposed to take these before meals. Not a big fan of them. They do tend to alleviate my headaches, though. So it's basically aspirin. Beta blockers. I have high blood pressure. Hers. I used it too when shaving. Why would you use a little hand mirror? There's a giant mirror in front There's of you. There's only an outhouse, and for some reason, whoever erected the rickety thing didn't think to include wall to wall mirrors. So, <laughs> this came in handy. <laughs> Should I dust for fingerprints? I might if I were in a detective story. After all these years, it Permanently smells of her and her perfume. Aww. The last thing I need now is to see myself Damn in the mirror. I must look off. There's dust on this, too. It's everywhere. After all these years, it permanently smells of her okay. and her perfume. There's a strand of blonde hair in the comb. Yes. Blonde hair like 
Okay, so I'm slowly Sometimes. remembering features about her. I'm remembering. What's wrong with my memory? Did I have a stroke? Yes, you had a stroke because you didn't take your high blood pressure medicine. Mm. Mm. She also had a brush, but I can't see it anywhere. Nor some of her other personal items. It's just a regular comb bought from a supermarket. New mm. Okay. Mm. This drawer. Keys. These keys are for the cabin and the car. Which one's the car key? They're all really old. Okay, now I see it. Let's see this one. If the keys are here, does she have her spare? She's not here. She's dead. I should probably stay here in case she doesn't. Did she even have her own spare? She's dead, bro. We also have a key for the outhouse, but can't be bothered to keep it anywhere other than under that rock next to the thing. Okay, that might be important. No one comes here anyway. We did have a night prowler once who left a mark inside the outhouse. Ew. We rarely lock it anyway. Ew. I never noticed it before, but there's some rust on the ring. Huh. Should get a new one. Dude. We also have a key for the outhouse. Okay. Dude, she's but dead. But can't to keep it anywhere other than under that bro, rock next to the Bro, bro. Level with me here. No one comes here anyway. She's dead. Back up. I'll go back. Okay. She's dead, bro. I want to break it to you. The ticking begins to feel homey after I a while. The all first that night was a nightmare, though. Mm -hmm. I hate ticking clocks. Time never mattered much to us while Especially we were hiding from the rest of the world here. As long as we were together Aww. and happy. So sweet. The clock has always been rather autonomous. No matter how many times we've wound it up, it keeps going out of sync. Yeah, the time hasn't changed yet. It's still 6.15. Actually, I think it might have gone out of sync again. Yeah. No trusting this clock. I wonder what time it is. As if it mattered. The clock has always been okay. rather autonomous. No matter how this many times side. we've wound it up, it keeps going out of sync. Why can I interact with anything in your nightstand? Creepy I feel I don't sleep. There are no. I feel too rest. I don't sleep well. No trap door under there. Just more creaky floor. What if the photos changed? <gasps> Holy shit! The guy who snapped this, my love. We don't have a lot of photos. The guy who snapped my love. I actually remember what you look like. Those moments we sat at this table, laughing, smiling, or simply looking in each other's eyes. He remembers! Will we have them again someday? This table has seen many happy times. The meals we shared, or when we just used to stay up late. Oh, I got goosebumps! Talk. Oh! Oh, oh it's so I cool! Talked. I sure hope she comes back soon. We can sit down and discuss our problems. Like we always did. We could always work things out. Uh-oh. Lonely Hearts Club Band. Pig and Pepper. Alice in Wonderland. All these associations, links, plays on words. My head is full of them, and it never stops. The dining table was well-worn even when we acquired the cabin. You could tell from its appearance. Is it my imagination, or are you using even more these days? Ah, uh, because you have blood pressure, bitch. Our dining table. Quite modest, but if it ain't broke, we'll fix it. I could tell plenty of stories no, about this picture. table. It, it's different. But that just... It can't be different. Am I going mad? Somehow she looks sadder than I remembered. Could I have really been so wrong about that night? We don't have a lot of photos of our... The guy who snapped my love. We don't have a lot of photos of ourselves as a couple, so this one is quite important. Who's crying? And 
leave now? Why? I should really stay. I prefer the darkness inside. Could you take this out and beat it, love? It's getting a bit dusty. Aww. It's one of the few decorative things here. I remember us washing it. I always resisted the temp- The rug's all crooked again. Can you help me That's straighten that out? As always, I automatically went to the window side and she took the one by the armoire. Some of her scent still lingers. What's the matter with me? I can't seem to remember even ordinary things. When was the last time we made love? I don't know. Maybe if I go to sleep, I will wake up and there she'll be. But arms I can't wrapped sleep. around me, the warm and passionate touch of her lips. Hmm. But I can't sleep. It feels as if I've been awake for ages. There are no monsters under the bed. Fuck that. Fuck you. I guess there we seem to take fewer and fewer walks as the years went by. It's Everything around sad. here is so familiar. Everybody thinks that living out in the middle of a dark, dense forest is so romantic. Nothing but you and nature. Serena and I thought so too, once. That is, until the loneliness kicked in. You need friends. You can't just, no. You can't just be with one person. That's, I mean, yeah, that's marriage and everything, but you still need friends. Why did we choose this place? We so now you're old, and, and you've outlived her. She's dead, we bro. Let our love wither away in a still life. She's dead. There's a crack in this window from a tantrum she threw some time ago. How could I possibly forget the color of her hair like that? Even for a moment. She was my girl with the sun in her hair. What's happened to me? Okay, so either she's dead, or he's a dead, and he, he's a ghost. It's one o'clock? How long has it been, I wonder? I can't tell. And I miss her Dude, so much. Dude, you're a ghost. Okay, the either ticket. she's dead and he's it senile or he's a ghost. I've wasted so much time in my life. Did I and ever going take a break to rest. show her how much I truly care? This is an emotional roller coaster. Actually, I think it might have gone out of sync again. So I can't click on anything in here. No. Uh, here. Trunk. I'm gonna go to the trunk. Is there anything worse? I feel like I don't even have the strength to lift the lid. What once gave me so much joy now fills me with unbearable sorrow. We found this trunk at a flea market. We used to love rummaging around those in our oh. early years. Pardon me. I'm just gonna beat that out. Big enough for a lifetime of mementos. Open it! But we hated guns, so we never had any, even out here. But this would have been a good place to keep one, since it can be locked. Open it! We found this trunk at a flea market. Ah, open the fucking trunk. We used to love rummaging around those in our early years. It changed. It changed. Years passed. No tears fell. No death knell reached the golden shores they trod. Another love story without a happy ending. Time works differently in the other world. Here dwell once mortal in God, poison of flesh, and I am of fay, till reason's light brought dismay, broke through imagination's shell, are all my earthly loves beyond recall. Cried Ozen, lost, lost, as I enthrall. She's gone, and even then I just keep reading. But it's always she been my way dead. of looking for answers, processing information. I can think of worse ways. I've always been drawn to things that are kind of... My grandma introduced me to these old legends when I was just a kid. In between She's stories dead. of what she could still remember of her... The dining what? table was well worn even when we acquired the cabin. You could tell from its appearance that it had been a centerpiece of men. The guy who snapped it? My love. The guy who, the guy who snapped my love. Look at her. Don't have, the guy who snapped this? Our my love. We don't have a... The She's guy really who snapped angry this, now. our host, our dining table. Quite modest, but if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Dude, her picture keeps changing. It's creepy. Someone said, work, work and, and love. love are the only things that ever really happened to us. 
Was it Freud or Marilyn Monroe? There's quite a difference between the two. You might want to get that squared away. And I let my work destroy my life. Writing was so all-consuming for me, and I made so little headway in all this time. I want to hurl the whole damn lot into the lake, or just tear at the pages until the wind sweeps them away. That sounds good. I'm in for that. Some of these started a million long ago. Nothing, Nothing gold can stay. stay. Frost. Frost. You must have a copy of The Outsiders. Oh, those words. Those damn, damn words. words. My whole life's been consumed by them. Now I have none left to say. All of this, these pathetic souvenirs from our relationship, they're all lies. I couldn't care less about this damn thing. I torture myself trying to remember. I'm too upset to even think straight. I hate her so much. What? All of this, these pathetic souvenirs. Sit down, we need to talk. When did it go so wrong? This was supposed to be a... We weren't supposed to fight here. You just don't get it, do you? You never do. I couldn't care less about this damn thing. I torture myself trying to remember. She's angry now. Part of me realizes I should be more shocked by this, but for some she was lying to me and manipulating me all the time. Why did I let her do that? What the fuck? I'm the one who should have been scowling. She played me like a harp and made me look like a complete idiot. So she cheated on you. I'm too upset to even think straight. I hate her so much. Truth is, I could have used this spice to get some of her abominations down my throat. She never had any sense for balancing a meal. It was either spicy hot or cringeworthy bland. Spicy hot. Used to much better fare. Hammering about the salt, feigning concern about my blood pressure. Should have emptied this into her lying throat till she vomited. If she were here, I'd rub salt into her wounds, all right? Just like she's rubbed salt into mine. All of this... Shut up, phone. These pathetic souvenirs from our relationship, they're all lies. I couldn't care less. I torture myself trying to remember. Oh, wait, we're going to go to the kitchen. <laughs> we're going to see what you got to say about this. I tried to be charitable with her, but what did it get me? Honestly, she could rarely carry a tune, so her humming habit got on my nerves. My wife has no indulgence given so except what comes to her from heaven. Of life, we eat really. little, we drink less. This earth breeds not our happiness. William Blake. Wait, Blake. Never those dry, blackened omelets again. Good riddance. How the fuck do you burn an omelet? I'm too upset to even think straight. Get it, okay. This armchair. This is where we had that talk. That damn... I've been trying so hard, but we lost something along the way. Did you get my letter? Will you just listen to me for once? God, you're always... Wait, where are you going? Don't walk away from me. I hate her so much. Oh yeah, it's out of the window. It's like looking into my own soul right now. Dirty, filthy, bland, disgusting. Did I see shadows move? Huh? No. Just my imagination. It's like the whole world is against me. Even my mind is playing tricks on me. All of this, these pathetic souvenirs from our relationship, they're all lies. What does this picture mean? Okay, um. Changeable man, insolent wretch. <laughs> Sounds like Serena, all right. Who was it made the first overtures, named love unending as time endures? Even as we rode across my father's realm, the mystic sea burnished thy poet's helm. Know this, scribe it thy final sketch, spell thy love without fault to the fay, or end thy life with feet of mortal clay. Her father's realm? She was a daughter of the sea god, Mananan, what was it, Machler? 
Macklemore. What? Scholars say Niav's divine father, Manu, is an elder race even more ancient than the Tuahaja Danan. I couldn't care less about this damn thing. What are we gonna say about the bed? The stains on this bed suddenly make me mad, angry even. Why must life always end up so sordid and hateful? I'm not crawling in there. Why torture myself trying to too upset to even think straight? This one I have to say. Sunlight, bird song. Nothing feels worse when there's no hope, no chance of anything. There was a proverb that I used to read that always said, "Singing light songs to the heavy heart is like pouring salt into the, the light room." It's so dim here. Makes me want to chop down every tree outside. There's only a limited window of opportunity for everything. Yep. I hate her so much. Let's see what you guys have about the blood pressure medicine. I tried to flush these a long time ago, but someone noticed, as if she cared about my impotent life. High blood pressure? What a load of bull. I've never felt better in my life. Well, she gave you the high blood pressure because you had to keep dumping all the salt on her nasty shit. I'm sick and tired of having to pamper you like a baby. Fine, I hope you have a great, lonely time at the hospital. All of this... these... Okay, that's pathetic bad. souvenirs from our relationship. They're all lies. I can't even bear to look at my face. She's really done a number on me. She never descended to criticizing my looks, though. Even when we fought, even when my hairline started going, my thoughts are all over the place. I couldn't care. How could I have been so blind? Her vanity. Before oh, bed. Fixing her hair before bed. Doting on her hair like a child. But I, all she cared about was herself all along. Her needs, her feelings. That's all that ever mattered to her. What about mine? I torture myself trying to remember. Okay, some more and more dialogue. Keys. Where are you going? Oh, that's rich. Just run away. Yep. I just needed to blow off steam to be somewhere else. Just for a while. But I, I can't even remember what we argued about. Unless she was the one who left. Yep, she cheated on you, bro. I'm too upset to even think straight. She cheated on you, bro. I interact with the clothes in here now. Or watch. Oh. Dearest, how do I say any of this? I like your way. And then you toppled us. Okay, that's the same. Um. Rug. All the real color faded from it long ago. Like your love. It must be full of dust mites. I should burn it. I'm in. I told her the rug was fine work. Like I know it. I hate her so much. Oh, uh, what about the armoire? What do you gotta say about the armoire? Or the Bible? It's just a book. Oh, you. What good will reading a fairy tale do me? God has never been there for me when I needed comfort. Dip Why would he want to go out of story. his mysterious ways to help me now? All of this stupid feeble-minded woman, woman with her silly, silly menial, menial things. <laughs> it was she who didn't deserve me. She said... I wouldn't waste my intellect on this... this sublunary distraction. So she said you don't deserve me. And then she, she left. She cared more for this plant than she cared for me. I couldn't care less about this damn thing. And now you're just slowly remembering how much of a hateful bitch she was. I should tear all her filthy, disease-ridden clothes apart and burn them. I'm liking this talk about burning, though. Everything she wore, just to lure me in. To her pussy. Not even these violent impulses give me the strength to I torture myself trying to remember. Not yours, though. Why didn't you go to the armor drawers? Oh, wrong one. Nope. Those don't look like exactly clothes that would lure you in, though. They're kind of bland and plaid. Can I leave now? A part of me still thinks you'll forgive me and come back. Do I deserve to be forgiven? What about all the things she did and all the things she said? Words and dreams may be enough for you, but you know what? You'll get a chance to test that soon because I've had enough. enough. She walked out on you. I'm too upset to even think straight. So I can't leave. Fuck. True friends stand by each other through... Any adversity. I hate her. All of this, these. Can I open the chest? Pathetic souvenirs. Yes. They're all 
Just a bunch of schmaltzy junk. I sit here on the train, taking me to my final farewell to the ones who brought me to this world. I see the smiling couples on their way to new adventures and think, it used to be us. We had joy and laughter and friends once, but a memory is not the thing itself. You're very good at letting things you don't want to face slip off you. You continue as if nothing has changed, lost in your own lifeless world. Words and dreams may be enough for you. You know what? You'll get a chance to test that soon. I question how I once saw things. How much of what I thought we had were my own feelings, and how much of your manipulation. Because you are so very good with words, aren't you? You knew how to use them when we met, and for the longest time, I went along with the romantic whirl you conjured up around our shabby, isolated existence. Oh, it took me long enough to see it for what it was. And there were these moments that you swept me off on foolish flights of fancy, when I threw myself into your fantasies. You wove your spell, plying me with your magic and with wine in equal measure, and I was taken in like the lost little girl I was. Do you realize all the pain you've caused me? They say if you have to ask whether someone loves you, you already know the answer. Protestations to the contrary can no more convince me any more than I can make my own mother or father draw breath again. Your aloofness tells a different story. I no longer know what you're thinking. With my parents gone and with your refusal to even accompany me in my time of need, something broke. Or maybe it happened long ago, but I never saw it so clearly before, even after everything. I don't make you feel comfortable? Really? That's all you have to say? I won't waste any more life waiting for things that'll never come. Ah, of like course, you, that's you what bitch. you expect me to do. Play the good wife so no one will laugh at you for being the failure you are, to shield you from the truth of your existence. Lost in your books and vapid verse, blithely drifting into the mists of time, as if not even a footnote, when you could be raking in it if you'd only used your words for anything other than personal indulgence. You talked and talked about your path, the winter blueness of my eyes, all that nonsense. And the years rolled by, the seasons came and went, on and on, you pursuing your dreams that will never be. Lost in your damned words, looking for clues you'll never find. I'm sure you're doing it even now with your rotting books. You took the best years of my life and gave only empty words in return. We've gone as far as we can, and something's got to give. Us. Okay, so. Now he, I remember. Okay, here it is. It was me all the time. I lost her, and it's all my fault. A shrine tonight. I should just destroy this useless junk. I couldn't care less about this damn thing. Okay, now that he's done talking. um. So she wanted a really good relationship, like deep emotional connections and everything, so they moved to the cabin to try to get that, but he was in it more for the sex and flirting and just being really good with his words because he reads so many books, but eventually she started seeing through all that and that's when they started deteriorating. So they got sick of each other because they'd been alone in this cabin. Yeah, it's the same thing. Um, I torture myself I trying to remember. I'm too upset to even oh, think okay. straight. Um, what else can I see now? Can I leave? I mean, I can leave now. I hate her. All of this. I'm too upset no. to even think straight. What the fuck that is? I hate her. All of this. I forget to click on these. Pathetic souvenirs from our relationship. They're all lies. What did I not click on? I couldn't. Why torture? I'm too ups. I hate her so much. All of this. These. Pathetic. I couldn't. Why torture myself trying to remember? Books, more books. Too upset to even think. I hate. Oh, I'm too upset to even think straight. Fine. No. Uh, I hate her no. so much. Oh, is it? oh, I was taken. All of this, I couldn't care. Why torture? I'm too upset. I all, oh, I couldn't care less oh, the about this box. damn thing. It appeared on the table. Her wedding ring or mine? But what is it doing here? Oh, please, no. It's hers. I can't believe she would just leave it here. Where the hell is she? No. It can't be 
true. No, no, I didn't do it. Killed her. I need to wake Killed up her. from this nightmare. Why torture myself? I remember how happy these made her. She smiled, that wonderful smile. I must have gifted these to make amends or something. Or did I? Did I ever gift her anything? She loved her trinkets more than she loved me. I'm too upset to even think straight. Okay. You mean I can leave now? I hate her so much. But, oh, I didn't do the clock yet. I can click on the clock again. That incessant noise. I should smash this useless antique to pieces right now. It can't keep the time for five minutes straight. Science Chimes completely at random okay. and never stops making that infernal noise. But hey, guess who thought it was so cute? This thing has caused me more sleepless nights than all of this, these pathetic souvenirs from our relation. I couldn't care less about this damn thing. Why torture myself trying to remember? Too upset to even think straight. Did that check the other window yet? I hate her so much. Does that mean I can leave now? It's done everything. All of this. I could. I'm too upset to even think straight. I feel like I hate her so much. Oh, the chair. Her favorite chair, huh? I should just smash this thing to pieces. It's wobbly and off balance. Just like, just she, like she was. was. Especially <laughs> that night. All of this, these. Okay, can I leave? I couldn't care less about this damn thing. Why tort? I'm too upset to even think straight. Opened it. I hate her. I hate all of this. I couldn't care. Why torture okay. myself trying to remember? Um. Too upset to even think straight. I hate her. Oh, I couldn't care less about this damn boy. Torch. Too up. I, all of this. I couldn't care less about this damn boy. Torch. Too upset to even think straight. We get it. We need to find out more, though. I hate all of this. These. I couldn't care less about this damn thing. What does the wine have to do with anything? Why is it I can click on the wine, but there's nothing here? Whoa, hold up, I saw the name Serena. Chateau Serena Pinot Noir. Right there. I don't know if that has to do with anything. That's the chair again. Why torture myself trying to remember? What, the armchair again? Oh, there's something on the bookshelf. No? I'm too upset to even think straight. Uh, that picture? Strange picture? Um... Is that a blood stain? I hate her. All of this, these pathetic souvenirs from our relationship, they're all lies. I couldn't kick my torture myself trying to remember. Uh, it's finally sinking in. Okay, here we go. She's a not lamp. coming back. Nothing in this cabin will ever change again unless it's by my hand. How could I be so inconsiderate? Did this stupid lamp destroy my marriage? I... I, I, I will fix it. In case she comes back. Did you argue about the lamp not working? I haven't got any bulbs on me, and I didn't bring it. I'm too upset to even think straight. I hate her so much. Um... Does your lamp work? It feels darker by the minute, but the sun is still high in the sky. Or is it? No. I can still see. I'm not turning it on. All of this... I couldn't care less about this damn thing. Nothing in here. Okay, I clicked on absolutely everything. Very little thing. I leave. Why torture myself trying to remember? I'm too upset to even think straight. I hate all... I couldn't care less about this damn thing. Oh, I can finally open the armoire. Cool. Oh, shit! You realize how stupid this was. 
He had a plan. I took measures to see nothing like this would happen. But you, you couldn't hold your down, Jeff. We can't risk meeting it now. The bulldozers are coming any minute. Don't worry. My God. It's all covered. What is this? Much time here. It can't. It isn't. How does it happen? I can't remember. It's already rotten beyond recognition. But how much time has passed? It's dry and withered. A body takes at least weeks to... I can't even remember how I did it. Maybe I didn't. Do I have brain damage? Honestly, I wouldn't be surprised. With a twist of wind, Oshin fell hard on his homeland ground. You and me both, my warrior poet. You and me both. Homeland Realm watched his mountain flee, looked up and found a silent banshee. Crone of silver hair, how came I here? Stranger is all on time's rocking beer. Thou art old, but recall me a bard. I knew in youth, no, no, now make way, a man's husk, I go past the... I read best. somewhere, I forget where. Only one way a fairy Tragedy. romance can end. Death. There's only one way anything can end, Don't really. Don't yourself. I'm not allowed to click on anything anymore. That anymore. You might as well be a coffin. Everything within it is just dead. I should bury my sorry self in it. All those memories. I'm so sorry, Serena. I loved you. <laughs> dead, worm eaten wood. The many times we sat here. So many. To think there would ever be a last time. The dinners, the laughs. I can't bear looking at it any longer. My face. What's happened to my face? Is this my punishment? It's like looking into a mirror. I've just been slowly rotting inside all along. Until I took her life. I am a demon, a destroyer, impure. I must have taken her ring off when... Why is it in this chest? Was it yours. guilt? Disgust? I'm Denial? In sickness so and in health. Cool. Until death do us part. Oh, God. Why did she have to be like that? Why did she always toy with my feeling? What have I done to you, my Serena? I can't think about this. I feel faint. <sighs> have to breathe normally. If only I had died of high blood pressure, at least she would be... I'm getting hysterical. Seeing this, I can't help thinking of pepper spray. It doesn't even make any sense. Pepper, the black condiment. I, have, I need to stop staring at this idiotic random associations. I remember after our fight just staring at this salt shaker for what seemed like hours. Serena was the salt of the earth. She was my pillar, my guardian angel. What have I done? I'm, I'm going to be sick. There's no booze, no food. Even if there was anything left to eat or drink, I couldn't force it down. There's no point. No, nothing. Just words. This is not life. Now he's remembering, or now he's uh, thinking that he should have spent more time with her than his books. All the words in these books couldn't bring her back to me. What have I become? The knowledge in here was at my reach, and yet I was blinded by ignorance. That night, the night we had that fight, this is where she told me what a damn fool I was. 
Don't walk away from me. Don't you fucking care anymore? Stop. Get back here. She was right. I wasn't good enough for her. Oh my god, it sucks. That is a blood stain. It just got bigger. There's no point. The more I look at this, the more it feels like I won't see her sitting on this chair ever again. I just don't know how fuck? to cope. What the fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck? Do you realize how stupid this was? We had a plan. I took measures to ensure nothing like this would happen. But no, you couldn't help your damn self. We can't risk moving it now. The bulldozers are coming any minute. Fire will do it. Do you think they will buy it after all this time? It's been months since you... Don't worry. It's all covered. He spent much time here. What? Fine. Give me the kerosene. You gonna burn my house down? What the fuck? Two friends to the two. Oh shit. We forgot your... Fuck. It was so stupid to leave it. Why did you do that? Can you calm down? I couldn't bear to wear it any longer. It's in a safe place. We'll pick it from the ashes. Oh! to the cabin in the woods so they could spend more time with each other after they got married. I'm assuming this is where they chose to live after their wedding. So they, the first years or two were really good. They were constantly happy. Everything was in this blissful, trance-like state, such as it is when you fall in love. Okay, yeah, I'm going to stop recording now. Um, so when you're in this state, Everything is better than it actually is. Her food was good. Even though he recalls later that it was either super spicy or really bland. The rug was really um, artistic and really cool, good. Um, they did nothing but happy things. They ate dinner at the table. They were flirtatious. They cuddled in the chair. They had sex on the table, in the chair, on the bed, constantly. But 
as the years went on, he became, he kind of grew, he got too used to each other. That is what I'm trying to say. You try to getting so close that you wind up just drifting apart and just start annoying each other. Like, everyone goes through this, and usually, it's like the sign of the door says, true friends can stay through any uh, tough advers, stay true through any, ad uh, whatever it was, fuck, I can't remember the word, um, any obstacles or difficulties, and that is extremely valid, but as he started going on, he could see that, he started seeing all the, the um, the rose-colored lenses of love started, like, fading away from him. So he became more and more clear about the world and what actually was going on. Now that he wasn't blinded by love and he could see that her food didn't taste nearly as good. He could see that she was very manipulative and how she always wanted, needed to get her way. He could see all this that was going on. And he started remembering all the bad memories, how she was nagging on about taking his medicine, and all this, oh man. And then it got to a point where he absolutely hated her. And she was feeling the same way because she, after the a veil of love had gone away, she kept that veil a little bit longer than he did. And she wanted all this stuff again. She wanted the emotional connection. She wanted the romance. She wanted the... Uh, she wanted a deeper emotional connection because she mentioned oh, just telling me I look pretty or I have beautiful eyes whatever is not enough I want something real. That's why she left or, and then I'm guessing the night that they had the talk they got into a fight and he started walking away and Then she tried to stop him or she was on her way to leave and then he killed her and stuffed her in the closet or she killed him, and that's his body, but he's not real in this scene. He's fake. He's like a ghost. Because there's a Greek, he's talking about Irish mythology. Well, most mythologies, like the Greek mythology, have when you die and you go back to the underworld, you're bathed in the river, river Lethe, which cleanses your memory. So I'm guessing he's the one who's dead. That's actually his body in the armoire. But it mentioned that it would be hers, but wasn't that her outside the house? Because she mentioned picking up the ring after the house had been burned down. His, it, okay, I'm pretty sure that that was his ghost. Set in, like, set stuck inside that building. But you know, I'm going to leave this up to you guys, okay? So, thank you so much for joining me on this emotional adventure that is Serena. And, I guess... I can't really say anything else. That was a great game. I'm not going to lie. But thank you for signing in with me. This is your host, Reversion, signing off, and I will see you next time.